Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Libra, you guys got electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Number 24. You have 24, 24, 23. I think Libra season starts the 23rd. Maybe some of you guys, like the 23rd of September on the equinox. I think that's the day. Anyway, maybe some of your birthdays are 24, 23. Maybe you're seeing a lot of 2, 4, 2, 3. When we have progression, like one, two, three, four, you know, two, three, four, three, four. Do we ever see three, four, five? We could see, no, mm, no, you can't really. <laughs> but yeah, when we have progress, that shows progression. So it's weird because I see that your ideas are actually coming to life. Like with Eel Spirit, it's not just like the false promise of shit coming and not really happening, but like your ideas are starting to manifest. That's why I'm getting with the Eel. Like your power, the power that you've put into manifestation, um, now is the time when you're gonna start to see those manifestations come to life. Like it's not only telling you to bring them to life, but I feel like it's kind of a confirmation that like everything is working in its most powerful way for you. But I feel this anxiety coming from you with this, the mice. And what's, what's interesting about the mice is like one mouse doesn't really ruin anything. Two mice doesn't really do anything either. But the more mice that come, the more they kind of cause a problem. And that's what they're trying to say now. Like something, I think it could be like in your own mind. Like your manifestations are starting to, to come into this life. And I think at the same time, so is this anxiety that you have. So it's like kind of like warning you, I think, to be careful because these manifestations that you've been like the things that you've been trying to like create are coming in, um, are starting the beginning. And then at the same time, you have this anxiety. For some of you, it could be specifically in a in like in love because the heart is here. I'm also kind of getting this idea that. Um, there could be a little bit of a sabotage here, but not an intentional sabotage, just like the energy that you're in right now of this anxiety. I mean, and what's interesting is I feel like you know you know about it and you're coping. So I don't see someone here that's not coping with it. Um, so let's see, let's pull a little bit more. Um, yeah, I don't I don't see like this this going away, which is good. Like I see things coming in, not going away. But maybe you're afraid things are gonna go away. Let's see. So Libra, I'm getting this like big thing to tell you that you're very close to your ideas coming to life. You're very close. You see how you had the eel come up as your animal spirit and then you're coming up as the queen of cups twice. You've put like your blood, sweat, tears, like you put everything that you've had into something. And it's it's not just into one specific thing. It's into your it's into what you want to create in this life. It's into your manifestation. It's into your ideas, right? Your ideas, your dreams, your hopes. You've been putting everything you have into it. And it's interesting because it's coming in. It's literally coming in. But at the time, it's it's interesting because you've been working so hard, right? And it's like, you know, you know when someone's just kind of burnt out? That's the idea that I feel with you guys. Like I think some of you guys are burnt out. And you feel like, what's the point of putting work into this shit anymore? Like, what's the point? What's the point of, you know, hoping and wishing that this is going to happen for me? It's kind of ridiculous. Maybe, you know, like, I feel like there's doubt coming in. And there's this idea of, like, you know, um, this imbalance because of anxiety. Because of, of, like, how things aren't working 
you know, you know, when we don't, let's say you have a time frame for something like in a year, I want this to look like this. And it didn't work out that way. A lot of you guys are kind of freaking out and like, okay, maybe I should do something else. Or maybe I should, you know, start doing, thinking a different plan. Like, you know, maybe things are, things are not working out the way that I want them to work out, you know? So, you know, what can I do, but kind of like maybe even give up. And it's interesting because I get that it's not that you're confused. It's just that like that idea that you had didn't go exactly the way that you wanted it to go. Like, let's just say like, you know how we all say like, oh, by this age, I want to be married. And by this age, I want to have kids. And by this age, I want to like, you know, when you're like, I don't know, 12, you can, you make answers, you, you make, you know, you're, you're like kind of unrealistic with what life is going to be like. And you kind of just say like, oh yeah, by this age, I want to have this by this age, I want to have this. And then life kind of doesn't go according to plan. Do you just like, you know, give up on life? No, you keep going. And that's kind of exactly what I see here. Like somebody here is kind of wanting to give up, I feel, um, on something. And I'm getting like, you're so close to your manifestation. It's crazy, but I see you giving up on yourself so much. Um, like, it's kind of sad like you have the queen of wands in reverse the queen of pentacles in reverse the queen the high priestess in reverse um the seneschal in reverse so you have like almost every queen here in reverse you know what i mean um and what's interesting is like your heart is not wrong so a lot of you guys want to give up on a relationship you're like you know what's the point i don't i don't see like this working out like it's just too hard and it's not you're kind of lying to yourself like you don't want to give up on this person you don't want to give up on this opportunity um and your heart is actually leading you down the right direction so if i could give you any advice right now libra it's like whatever they're saying like victory will be yours if you keep continuing to follow your heart you see we have the ace of cups here with the ten of cups here they're telling me that it's like slow it's gonna be slow it's not again your ego might be fucking with you right now this time telling you like oh well if it hasn't happened yet it's never going to happen imagine just again how many things in life have we tried to say like oh you know by this age i want this and by this age i want this and it never goes according to plan you know for a person that it goes according to plan god bless you you know what i mean like lucky you but for most of us like things don't go according to plan and you have to recalibrate and you have to continue going and you have to you know you know fix the situation and most of the time it's there's nothing that needs to be fixed what needs to be fixed is your mind you know what i mean what needs to be helped is like the way that you think about the situation the way your your control is kind of you know you feel like you're losing control of a situation okay like how can i regain control okay by just letting go by letting the universe take care of it by trusting that what's meant for me is meant for me and in the time that it comes it will come so i see you here having followed your heart having felt very strongly towards something a career a person everything in life like you you followed your heart and now you're like i don't know if i made a mistake i don't know if i did the wrong right, right or wrong thing i don't know and it's interesting that this is happening right before it comes in you know what i'm saying so it's like everything is coming in your ideas are coming in like the things that you're manifesting are here you have the ace of cups leading to the ten of cups like you have progression going from a one to a ten and it seems actually pretty quick, but what's interesting, and then you have the nine of cups. It's crazy. Like you have a lot of things coming for you, but, and there's no blockages. Like there's no karma. There's no lessons here. It's just taking time. And you know, the nine of pentacles, they tell you that this takes time. It's slow. It's very slow. If it's a person coming in, it's slow. You know, like everything here is slow, but let me promise you something like, and this I know for a fact, anything that takes a long time usually is like a sure fucking thing right you see people blow up like you know in a day um and then you see them gone like the next a year later like it's 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 literally that's how it is but when things are slow that makes it very steady that makes it very sure like do you trust a company that's been around for five years or do you trust a company that's been around for like 100 to 200 years you would trust a company that's been around longer right because why just for for a lot of reasons right just because they've they've been through the hard times they've been through the shitty times they've been through the times of like well maybe it's time to give up maybe it's time to do something different what makes someone more sturdy and more stable is the fact that they keep going so libra now is not a time for whatever it is that you're planning on or you've been working on to give up and <laughs> now is not the time to say well fuck it i did the wrong thing i need to turn around because you, you're about to do that with maiden in reverse. You have this like pivotal moment here where you either turn around, you give up, 
or you just balance and calm calm the fuck down like i'm talking to you like i would talk to a friend like calm down <laughs> with self card like realize that like you're manifesting everything and look at the card like everything that you have is coming for you and everything is will come in its perfect timing you don't have to fucking rush it and any type of control that is coming in about you know for whatever reason just realize that that's your ego that and that's that part of you too that might be um like a little bit of a self-sabotager where you know like you're very close to something and then you just want to give up it's not time for that and i know i know you're very practical you're not you're not giving up because of like you haven't put your heart into it but the thing is your heart is leading you the right way there's so many times uh, like your passion might have dwindled in something um you might have lost money in a venture um you have queen of pentacles in reverse the central in reverse the queen of fire in reverse like we have all these queens in reverse and then at the bottom of the deck the queen of swords in reverse but this all these reversals are due to the imbalance within you not trusting not trusting and now is like the most pivotal time to trust because i see the ace of cups here for you i see the ten of cups here for you i see the nine of cups here for you so it's like it's really it would be really premature like to, to just jump the gun and quit or to give up um is just dumb because it's literally right here <laughs> it's like your manifestations are coming in and at the same time you're about to like duck out so that's all i can say like if you're if you're struggling with like an idea with anything in life that you feel like you know it's just not worth it it's time to just give up i put a lot of blood sweat and tears into this i put a lot of emotion into this it's not worth it i think you would be wrong to give up on it at this time i think what you need is to ground yourself to stabilize yourself and realize that like everything that's for you will come in its right time and if it didn't come earlier it's because it wasn't the right time and as hard as it is to hear that especially when we're struggling um that's just the reality and if you're like well i don't know if i can make it any longer you can but how can you do that by balancing you yourself out by you know taking time to maybe some of you guys need to get a lot of that energy out because there's a lot of energy right now <laughs> and maybe you just have to get some of it out maybe it's frustration that you need to get out maybe it's purging whatever it is it has to come out so that you could you know feel okay and then get back on track with the knowledge here so yeah we have the ten and the nine of cups with a slow offer a slow this could be even in romance like i i don't know what field it is i feel like it's kind of an all-encompassing feel like um, like it could be in career, it could be in love, it's everything, like everything is on its way, but at the same time, you need to relax, <laughs> you need to relax, okay, let's pull, I know what people hate, <laughs> it's, it's reminding me that's long, like what the fuck do you mean relax, but honestly, relax a little bit, like chill, like it's all coming in for you, don't give up now, don't like jump the gun and just you know get upset it's not worth it because it, it all, all is coming in and i don't think you were wrong about anything i think you followed your heart or you're following your heart at this time and i think it is leading you in the right direction but you have to be patient now i'm not talking about like if you've been waiting for somebody toxic to come back into your life they're going to come in no like i'm saying the right shit is going to come in for you at the right time but i mean obviously i i feel like the people that follow me are not people that are expecting toxic shit to come back into life so i'm not gonna even go into that let's pull advice so libra it's so funny because i felt like this was an ego kind of thing like you know you just want to give up prematurely because your ego is telling you well you know it, it reminds me of my parents in a sense like you know when you're when your parents tell you well you know maybe maybe you shouldn't keep doing this or maybe you shouldn't do that because you know i mean you, it seems that you're just wasting time or it seems like you know you know like that parent like um answer right like that's what this kind of seems like like in the back of your mind i feel like you're just you're kind of tearing yourself down at this point and it's really sad because i see you put a lot of heart into something like maybe you were manifesting um a person into your life and you put a lot of heart into balancing yourself out so that the right person can come in because if you're not aligned you know that like the right person will never come in so you're like what's the fucking point of me putting in all this effort into myself and no one's coming around <laughs> you know what i mean it's like fuck this like i might as well have just been the toxic me because if i was toxic um at least i'd have someone to go to bed with at night you know what i mean and i just see somebody kind of like having a tantrum 
and it's okay like it's fine to have these tantrums it's fine to feel this way that's your ego that's your ego not getting what it wants this card machine labdon whatever the diamond hearted dakini i see the light in my own darkness i face my ego beliefs to feel free right now your ego is throwing a fucking tantrum like that's literally what it feels like like i'm not getting this right now and i'm not getting that and this isn't working the way i wanted it to work and it's not you it's your ego so it's like a part of you that needs this to work out to feel safe right it's kind of like in a relationship um when someone like i don't want to compare it to this because it's not the same thing but you know it's reminding me of that movie where jessica aniston is that her name jennifer aniston sorry <laughs> jennifer aniston's dating um ben affleck i don't know oh it's it's he's just not that into you um and she's like dating an exception right like he's somebody who loves her to death he just doesn't feel a need to get married whatever but in her mind it's like i need i am looking like a fool to people like i've been engaged or i've been with someone for like 10 years but we're not married and in her mind like it's just that security it's like i just need that or i'm gonna have a tantrum i'm just gonna throw a fit or i'm just gonna leave this relationship there's nothing wrong with the relationship but it's like that one thing is missing and that's what's gonna like drive her insane and that's kind of what i'm getting for you guys it's like something here is just driving you crazy that it's not exactly the way that your ego wants it to be and your ego just wants you to feel safe you see we have home here your ego is just throwing this tantrum because it doesn't feel safe right now it feels like out in the open it feels um insecure and it's throwing a tantrum like don't let that ruin all the work that you've done like you've done so much work on yourself you've aligned yourself calm down like breathe in and out take the energy that you have somewhere else don't take it on and like imploding your life okay um trust me i've been there <laughs> like don't do that um you're gonna have to start over again and it's just it's like why waste time and then we have guardianship here which i find really interesting because i feel like you're so loyal to what you want but your ego is trying to tell you like you see what loyalty gets you you see what loyalty is bringing you look like this result's not here and that person's not here and like look you see do you see how like and, and it's kind of taunting you and i just feel bad because i understand that that's the ego your ego is very your shadow um and a lot of you have already faced the shadow but this is another type of shadow work where it's like you're against yourself right now and at this point libra you're gonna win you're not gonna let the ego win you just have to ground yourself feel like tell your ego to shut the fuck up things are gonna work out in the best way that it's supposed to at the best time for you there's nothing more that you could do at this point if there is nothing more you can do then say that there's nothing more i can do i've done everything i can and now i just have to let it go <laughs> you know what i mean and see what happens like i i'm not gonna destroy the entire thing like it's kind of like waiting for uh, the right person to come around like again you can go ahead and be with a bunch of toxic people but at the end of the day like what's what good is that like for what you're just wasting your time right i kind of also feel like guardianship is a person hold on yeah see we finally have this masculine energy coming in and they're gonna give you your heart their heart if you're not in a relationship they're gonna give you their heart we have the king of swords with the knight of cups a very honest person someone who's gonna give you their heart someone who's single um yeah i was like i felt i feel somebody coming in guardianship like yeah i think this is you tra having to be loyal to yourself right now but I, I felt like somebody else's presence here and i feel like that's this knight of this king of swords right now this king of swords is gonna come in again you have you're ending with you starting and ending with the ace of cups ten of cups nine of cups you have all these cups here so i definitely see fulfillment coming your way it's just about not giving up on them right now on this person who you want to come in they're coming in again when i hear i hear so much about it's your ego y'all it's your ego when when <laughs> like I, i'd want to know now trust me i've been in that seat for not a month but for years like letting the ego be the dominant one in my brain um it's really hard but you guys you got to take care of that you know um you're there's another part of you that speaks louder to it louder than the ego at some time at one point in life maybe your ego speaking louder than the soul and you know the other parts of yourself but in reality once you can balance that out and the ego you quiet the freaking ego or you quiet the shadow then you'll be much calmer
<laughs> so I love you, Libra. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time. Bye.